Hey, I'm Donald Bell for CNET.com, and I'm giving you a first look at the NVIDIA Shield. This is a 199 set-top streaming box that debuts in May. It can handle everything you can throw about. You can think about any kind of streaming box you might have. This one is like that, except on steroids. It has the NVIDIA Tegra X1 processor built into it. Uh, it also has a HDMI output that can handle up to 4K, 60 frame per second output. You got two USB ports here. You got gigabit Ethernet. Uh, you got the little power adapter here. Uh, USB and a micro SD expansion card slot has 16 gigabytes of storage baked into it, but you can expand that with that memory card slot. Now it is Nvidia, so beyond just doing streaming uh, of media content and uses the Android TV operating system to do that, uh, you also got lots of gaming features built into this. So you've got uh, Nvidia's own grid streaming game service, which is uh, baked into this, uh, paying a monthly fee. You can get access to stream a whole lot of video games, be they um, Android games, console games, PC games, a lot of different content being brought that you can stream uh, for free with a monthly fee. Then there's a uh, grid download content that you can do where you can get uh, high-end PC games that you can stream at up to 1080p, 60 frame per second streaming. Uh, and you can use that, you can use this box for that as well. Then of course, like any of the other Shield devices out there, you can also stream PC games locally uh, to the device so that you can play uh, your PC tower that's in the back of your house, you can play that up in the front of your house on your main TV, streaming it using the NVIDIA Shield. For the $199 price, it also comes with a game controller. This connects to the NVIDIA Shield using Wi-Fi Direct, very low latency. You can connect up to four of these controllers to one NVIDIA Shield. You can also have the option of buying a more television style remote control uh, that has a little mic uh, button here for activating Google Voice controls so that you can speak into the remote. Uh, there's a mic input on the remote and it has a nice little slider function here, a little capacitive slider. There's no pricing on this yet, but it's available. Another cool thing that I like about both the gaming control that comes with it or the optional more TV style remote control is that they both have headphone jacks so that you can plug in a pair of headphones and listen to your content on headphones without annoying the people around you. They also both have microphones built into them so they'll both work with Google's voice control. All right, so there you go. That is the NVIDIA Shield, again, due out in May for a base price of $199. An exciting entry into the world of streaming media boxes. If you really want a lot of power out of your streaming media box, this is gonna deliver that. Um, also, a great Android experience for your TV. For CNET.com, I'm Donald Bell, giving you that first look at the NVIDIA Shield.